So, hey, saints, it's Sister with a testimony on the Mount of Olives, a.k.a. Hope on a Star. And we have been working this morning. We've been um, practicing our side passes. We've been practicing um, turns and uh, quarter turns, rollbacks. Um, she's just really a sweet baby. And um, I was studying earlier about how the Lord will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. And um, I wound up over in 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and 9. And I really focused on 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 10. When I read it, it just kind of stood out to me. I did a little research. Uh, if you read this in context and you let the Lord just saturate you with what he's trying to get through to us today, saints, it is like, it's phenomenal. God's not just going to meet your needs. He's going to pay every expense for you to preach the gospel and to give of your abundance. He will bless you so much that you have abundance to give to others. Saints, we're not supposed to give out of necessity and we're not supposed to give because we're going to get something back. You know, the heathens know about the law of sowing and reaping. Whatsoever a man sows, that, so, that he shall also reap. Whoever sows sparingly will reap sparingly whoever is generously sowing and giving they will receive generously but when you look at 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 10 the Lord is the one that gives seed to the sower he is the beginning and the end the alpha and the omega the olive and the tau he is everything he created everything for his purpose and for him and by him were all things created. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. He can give you everything that you need and everything over and above every expense will be met. If you do a little research, you'll find out that Paul was actually kind of referring to the Greeks in that day um, around the, the fact that the drama that they brought forth, the theater, all of that was paid for by one individual. The state paid for it. You didn't have theaters today where you pay big money to go see a movie and movie stars are paid and all this stuff. You had people that competed, literally competed for the contract to pay for the dramas that were put on. They had to pay for the costumes and the costumier, the people that made the costumers, the masks, the maskers, uh, the people that made the masks. The, the people that made the masks and the costumes were very expensive. They had, um, even back then, in, in their drama clubs and their theaters, they had some elaborate plays and, and just put on so many amazing feats back in that day saints they didn't have we don't have nothing on them in theater because they had to do it from their imagination and what they had available they didn't have all the electronics and everything so if you think filmmaking is expensive today it was expensive back then and one person would be awarded a contract for that drama and they had to pay for everything everything they had to pay all of the expenses and then some. Whoa. Now be still. In Jesus' name. Be still. She wants her breakfast. So I'll, I'll try to get through this pretty quick here. Lord, this is so awesome. Lord, let us hear you and understand that you're that one that is supplying our needs. You're paying for every expense. You're paying for all the players, and you're pay playing for all their stuff, the good, the bad, the ugly, the, the one that's the antagonist, the protagonist. You've created everything for your pleasure, and for you, it was all created. You are the financier. 
You are the one that supplies our needs, Father God. Saints, he will, like that one that had to compete for the contract to pay for that drama, they got all of this um, notoriety and um, a pat on the back. They would literally, after the drama had been presented and, and it was a success, they would, they would erect a monument to themselves. Okay, we don't have to do that for God. He says, don't make any idols on this earth. We are the monument, giving him the glory for what he has done for us. Yes, tell him, Hope. He will supply your needs. He will supply what you need over and above that to be able to give. He will honor you. He will love and adore you. And he will never leave you begging for bread. He is the one that gives the seed to the sower. We go out and we sow the word of God. He gives us the substance and the ability and the finances to go do it. Saints, he's not going to leave you without. If he called you to a ministry, he will supply everything, even the added expenses and the unforeseen expenses. He will pay for the plane tickets and the baggage and the food and the everything. If you just go out and give out water, he'll supply water. We had people come and, and bring us money on Saturday. Everything is free. We didn't ask for money. They were completely and totally given an unction of the Holy Spirit to come and give to the ministry so we can go buy more water and more food to give to people when they're hungry. We don't have to beg for donations. If he gave you a ministry, he will supply all your needs. You will not have to supply them. You will not have to ask for donations. You won't have to write books and sell them. You won't have to to make videos and sell them. Saints, it's not yours. It's not your video and your book. You don't have a right. You gave up your rights. Everything belongs to the Lord. Freely we have received, freely give. Check out 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and 9. Let it get in you. Don't look at it from King James Version. Don't look at it from the um, American Standard Version or the Jewish Bible. Don't look at it from anybody's version. Read it. Meditate on that word. Ask the Lord, what are you saying here? Do some research. Don't go listen to somebody else tell you what their opinion is. Saints, he'll download it to you. I have given you life and life abundantly, says the Lord. Freely you have received, freely go out and give. He said, I will exceedingly, abundantly bless you above all that you can ask or think. Saints, hope knows that it's her dinner time. She knows that it's time to eat. Okay? If she knows it's time to eat and you know when it's time to eat, do you think your master is going to feed you when you're hungry? Come on. If she knows she's going to get fed when she's hungry, we need to trust our master the way these animals trust us. Come on, saints. God bless you. I love you. It's sister with a testimony on the Mount of Olives, and she's ready to go eat her breakfast, her second round of breakfast. So I'm not going to hold her any longer because she has been so phenomenal working today. I just give a shout out to all of you that are doing the Father's will without asking people to finance you. He will put it on their heart and send them to finance his work. He is the seed giver. If he gives you the seed, go sow the seed that he gave you. Well, I don't have any. It don't cost no money to preach the gospel, saints. So stop making excuses. God bless you. I love you. A sister with a testimony, live and in person, from the Mount Olives. God bless you. I plead and apply the blood of Yahushua over you to hide, protect, and keep you. Mm, supplying all my needs. Bless you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, saints. I love everybody.